As we're completing this spring calving season, I think it's important for producers to make a good record of any sets of twins that might have been born during this calving season. That's especially important if those twins were both a male and a female, both a heifer and a bull being born as, as twins together. And the reason is that any heifer calf that was born twin to a bull is very likely, over 95% chance, that she will be infertile, incapable of reproducing if we keep her around for a replacement heifer. So that's why we want to have that number written down in our book so that next fall when we wean those calves, we make sure to cull any heifers born twin to a bull so that we're not keeping them as replacements. And it's also a really important reminder to us as to why when we have a set of heifers that we're growing and putting through their first breeding season, that we make certain that we do a pregnancy checking on them as soon as is possible after the breeding season's over so that we can identify any of those possible heifers that might have been born to a twin bull that, that we didn't catch or even have a situation where during the pregnancy there was a bull calf that didn't make it and that pregnancy, that portion of pregnancy was lost, but the heifer still survived. That one could still turn out to be one of those infertile free martins, as we call them, that we don't want to have in our herd as a reproducing heifer. That then means that this calving season or any calving season, if you find a heifer calf that's born twin to a bull, let's make sure that we make good records and do not keep that heifer calf as a replacement after weaning time. We look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow Calf Corner.